So I've been busy since the last video. We've got the machine back in the test stand. You can see at the back end, we've got a ro the Robotech is built into an armoured box, basically. Um, not as pretty as it was before, but with the Kelly controller. But even so, you've, you've got to protect this thing. It's expensive. Um, so we've got our control wiring this side, and then this side we have the power wiring which goes through underneath to a compartment underneath. Now what you've got to do is um, get your whole centre wiring correct. Um, I've been through this very carefully with the diagrams. I'm pretty confident which whole centre is A, B and C in the motor. Um, these then go into the, uh, through a cable I had to make up myself, they go into here. Um, you've got a, a ground, a plus 5 volts, and then the, uh, in this case, yellow, white, and I think blue wires are all A, B and C. Um, this is the RS-232 communication from the Arduino via the MAX-232 chip, which converts the TTL from the Arduino to um, RS-232 format. Um, this is the uh, USB socket if I want to talk to the uh, Robotech from my laptop sort of temporarily. So the next thing you've got to do is work out the motor wiring. You've basically got three wires from the motor, the QS motor, so we have a, a yellow, green and blue. Uh, there's no international standard apparently, so from the Kelly controller you have a blue, white and green. So that gives you six combinations which you need to write out in a chart. I don't know if you can see this. So this is uh, this column are, you, you've got basically six combinations of wires. This is the Robotech. Uh, this is the motor. So you've got blue to blue, white to yellow, green to green, then you've got blue to blue, white to green, green to yellow, and so on all the way through. Um, I went on EndlessSphere.com and they give various ways of uh, working this out because you've got to get the best combinations. So basically what I've done is I've wired them up and then I've run a little bit of software on the um, laptop uh, here. Sorry, I've run a, a motor tester software which goes onto the Arduino. Um, I don't know if you can see, but basically it takes a value. Let's see if I can focus this takes a value say minus 120 the maximum being minus a thousand for example send it to the Robotech a little delay then it asked for the um, the current being drawn from the battery in amps and it sends it back to the serial monitor so it, it goes up in increments up to about 10% power and it'll tell you the current so if you look at my scribbled chart um, this combination uh, doesn't make the motor turn at all, this wiring combination. This one, pretty good, and it doesn't actually record any current up to um, about 8% of top speed. Bearing in mind that the, the wheel is suspended, there's no actual load on the wheel apart from the, the mass of the wheel itself being accelerated and decelerated. This combination, it doesn't turn at all, it makes a horrible clunky noise, and we're getting um, 4% power, we're getting a 5 amp draw, 5% commanded power, 15 amp draw, so that's clearly wrong. Don't want to do that. This one, it does turn, but it makes a horrible noise. Again, drawing sort of 10 amps. Uh, this says 40%, that's a mistake. It's actually 4, 5 and 6% commanded power, 10 amps draw. This combination doesn't turn the wheel at all. This combination turns the wheel um, very badly. Again, we're getting 5 amps, 5 amps, 15 amp draw at 4% um, commanded power. So clearly one comes out the winner. I've then cranked up the, changed the values in this software so that it will go up in increments of 3% when I pull the dead man switch uh, up to about 24% of maximum power and it will tell me the 
current draw so if we turn everything on you'll see this so we switch it on connect the this turns on the um, giant contactor which is in here connects the battery we turn on the Robotech right software is saying pull dead man lever to start sequence here's the dead man lever where we pull the dead man lever and we watch the wheel there we go it's a bit jerky because it's going up in three percent increments get this sort of juddering at low, very low speed. I think it's just the resonant frequency of my frame actually. So we'll switch it off, switch everything off. And if we look at the currents, the, here we are. We managed to get 10 amps around here this is at uh, yeah, 18, 21, 24 percent power.